my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it's such a blessing to have you right back here with me today's reading is for scorpio scorpio it is your day to shine my beautiful souls please shine bright like a diamond also please make a note that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or in your feelings it only simply means that today's reading is not for you but if you come back another day i might just have one for you right I also have a, a playlist for Scorpio, so go ahead and check on that playlist. One might already be there, okay? Also, if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe, y'all, and turn on your post notification so that way you will always be reminded whenever I upload brand new contents, okay? Please also give the videos a thumbs up because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos. And they will push the videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and that particular video will grow okay and we want to grow here right for all my returning secrets please know that i love you guys so 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 much thank you for all your love and support i see the love and trust me i'm embracing all that good love all that good energy now please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed however before I get into all my readings, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord to send his most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, just to give me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. So, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send any most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the messages that you want me to share with the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. All right, my lovely, so please take this reading as it comes to you. It's a general reading, all right? It could also go in reverse, okay? And it could also go for my cross watchers as well, all right? Um, the angels will have you know whatever it is that they need to know. It could be a present situation in your job. It could be a loved one that's trying to come through. It could be... Your relationship, past, present, or, or uh, future. Your person is your person who you're thinking about right now. Okay? So let's get into your reading. The angels are saying here, if only we can start over. All right? So someone is yearning to start over. Someone is definitely thinking about you, wanting you, reminiscing about you, and wishing on a shining star. If only we could start over again. Someone wants to start over. I feel like someone is sorry for the, the breakup. This um relationship might have been separated already. Is in the middle of a separation or a separation in the future. But someone is worried about um, not having a chance to rekindle and start over again. Okay? Angels are also saying here, believe in yourself. You are good enough. They want you to believe in yourself and to know that you are worthy and you are good enough. All right. You have to know that without a doubt, because I see like some of you really have doubted yourself of your worth and your self value. And they're saying that you are good enough. All right. Don't ever doubt yourself for a minute or a second is what they're saying here. Into the saying that don't come running back. Okay. So now I know your person and yourself are definitely in separation. All right. This relationship has definitely separated. Now, I'm having a feeling here in my spirit, y'all, that someone definitely do not care for their person to return, okay? I feel like someone is feeling like their person did do something wrong to them, okay? Someone did um, cause some damage, and they're feeling like maybe it's better if their person stay on the outside looking in, all right? For some of you, you might not even want to have a friendship relationship with your person anymore because of what they did. I needed more from you is what someone is saying here. Right? So someone is feeling like maybe betrayed. Maybe they feel like the person didn't give enough of themselves that they could have given. Um, for some of you, you just feel like you already gave enough of yourself. You gave a hundred and your person only gave you 50, if that much. So right now you're just like, don't come running back. Um, for some of you, just kind of feel like you're better off with your person over there and you really need them to be over there for your well-being, all right? Because remember, and just saying here, you are good enough. At one point, you felt maybe that you 
you you weren't good enough um someone is saying here i question your loyalty right so someone is saying here i question your loyalty um for some of you um loyalty is a big thing for you and you maybe you felt like your person wasn't giving this to you you felt like your person was out maybe doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing you question your person pretty much pretty often um, they gave you a reason to feel that way because this relationship deserves a second chance. Your person saying this relationship again deserves a second chance, all right? Um, they did say that they um want to start over, right? They did say that they want to start over, and now they're saying that the relationship deserves a second chance, okay? But on the other hand, right now you're in a place right now where you just don't want to be bothered giving any more second chances. I feel like for some of you, you already gave your person several second chances already. And you're just like um on the border right now where you're just ready to just cross over and just don't be bothered anymore. Not even a phone call or text. For some of you, you might already block your person. All right. Um, your person might not be able to reach you, to talk to you. So I'm going to say I'm walking away this time. Yeah, you're, you're done. You, you're ready to walk. You're ready to step. You're ready to run. You don't want to be bothered anymore. Okay, you just don't want to have anything to do with this situation ship anymore. Any any more pain, no more pain, no more drama. You're done with it. Look at the bigger picture. You're greater than you think. The agent wants you to know this. All right. They said it's critical moving forward from this and the way that you feel about your person returning to your life. All right. They're saying that you have to look at the bigger picture. All right. And just keep it in mind and know that you are greater. You're always greater than you think because you did question yourself and what you worth okay and they said that you are worth everything diamond and gold is what the angels are saying here and you need to know that never doubt yourself for a minute or for a second i see for some of you maybe your person that kind of work on your um self-worth how your purpose and for some of you maybe started to believe that you didn't you wasn't worth anything now, that's how your person had you feeling, okay? Let's see what angels are saying here, what they want you to know moving forward here. All right. So, someone is saying that you've moved on. So, your person is saying that it seems like you have moved on. But some of you probably already met someone, okay? You've probably already met someone. Someone is um very much looking in right now. I just don't know how to let you go, okay? You've moved on, yeah. You definitely have moved on. Your person is still yearning, still wanting you. Still needing you, still hoping that um, you would probably give them a, a second chance, all right? Um, okay, so now there's a message coming in. There's someone from the other side is coming into your reading right now, and they're coming in with a message, and they want you to know this. They're saying from the other side that you know to tell you, I know you miss me, but it was just my time to go is what they're saying here. All right, they say that you miss them every day. You, you think about them. You look at... Um, Things that they have might have left behind. And they just want you to know that they do miss you as well. You know, it was just your time to go. Don't feel like there was nothing that anyone could have done better. Um, They did feel the love before they crossed over. And it kind of helped them to cross over to make that transition. And they just want to thank you for loving them and accepting them. And their flaws is what they're saying here. And they just want to know that you to know that they are watching over you and they're are by your side with your decisions making okay so please take this um as it resonates to your present situation all right angels are saying here home okay so i feel for some of you maybe your person and you did share a home together all right a stability was built in this relationship for sure okay um your person is definitely not in the home anymore because your person is begging to come back. And you're not in the you're not going to take your person back because I see where you're already healed from this situation ship here. You're on another um path right now. You, you don't want to take your person back here because you just moved on. Your person is trying not to lose faith over here, okay? Just want to move forward. You just want to move forward. It's just saying that your person is trying not to move faith, knowing that you have moved on, all right, from what has happened between you two. But right now, where you are in your life right now, you just um you just want to move forward. You just want to just restart, rebuild, regroup, and just love yourself all over again is what the angels are saying here. You're on a different journey right now, mental journey. All right. Okay. 
Angels are saying here, hmm. Okay. Um, angels are saying here that a major victory is coming your way, all right? You've been through a disastrous time. You have been betrayed mentally, all right? Mentally, big time. In the Ten of Swords here, okay? Um, it's going to get better from this point. Because right now, you have, you have been healed from this wound that you have felt, that you have been through. Your person did stab you in the back big time, okay? Uh, but right now, you're on a different kind of a journey, all right? And you're just ready to move on. You're just ready to move on and just starting to rebuild your life again and just to see what is out there, okay? I see for some of you um, in the King of Wands here, I see like um, you have maybe have already met someone that is helping you to heal from this journey, from what you have been through. Um, I see for some of you, this person might be like a mature person, someone that you could look up to, someone that you could talk to. This person is like a ruler, okay? This person is going to help you definitely hold your hand, walk you through what is you're going through. This person seems to be like a leader. Maybe this person is like someone from the church, all right? Um, someone that holds up strong position, all right? Um, this person is a person that you could definitely talk to. Definitely talk to. You've been through a lot in your life and you deserve nothing but the best, all right? Nothing but the best. I see an opportunity coming in here as well, right? There's an opportunity that is coming in very, very fast, very, very soon. So look out for that. Um, it's, it's coming your way for sure. Just be ready and to be open to accept that change. Um, it might be coming very unexpectedly, uh, but it is coming in fast. But this person that is coming in here, this leader, this person is going to help you to walk you through that. So you're not going to be alone in that decision making. That's for sure. Okay. Be devoted and committed though. The angels are saying that you need to be devoted and be committed once this opportunity ar arrives. It's going to be coming. It's going to be knocking on your door. So just get ready for it. Bask in the joy and light. Okay. It is coming your way. The past is the past. Let go of the past because you have found your way to heal from those bad wounds, okay? Your person right now is filled with nothing but remorse and regret for the way that they had the relationship break down. It is just too little, too late. With that said, Scorpio, please remember to pray because prayer comes everything. Prayer comes with um, growth and strength. Don't forget to fast because when you fast, you pull positive energy towards you. And always remember to seek and you will always find.